Hello and welcome. Today I'll be playing through John Thompson's ESC's Piano Course, Book 1. So the piano music in this book starts on page 8, so I'll start at page 8 and I'll go all the way through to the end of the book. So the video is going to run in order, but just in case you are further on than page 8, you can look in the description and you can find what page you're on and immediately next to it I've linked the time. So for example if you're on page 13, have a look, right next to page 13 will be a time in blue click that and it will shoot you to that point in the video so you can practice along. Now don't forget that when you practice along these pieces might be a bit too fast for you so you can use that settings option that YouTube gives so that you can slow it down I think it's to 0.75 or to 0.5 and it will slow it by three quarters the speed or by half the speed and it's a really useful tip um, and really helpful for you so you don't feel pressured that you have to learn everything at full speed immediately. Okay so let's get into it and we're going to start with page eight. So page 8 is in 4-4, four, four. so I'll give you a 4-4 four, four counting. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And 1, 2, 3, 4. Fantastic. If your fingers are small enough, you can leave both thumbs on there whilst you play. But it might be a good idea to shift the other one just slightly off to the side. It's better not to dangle it off the piano. If you've got a piece which is only one hand, you're welcome to just leave that hand totally off rather than dangling a thumb off the piano. But I tend to shift it to the side because my thumbs are slightly too big to both fit. Page 9. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 3, 4. Page 10. 1, 2, 3, 4. Page 11. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, Straight on to the next line. One, two, three, four. Keep it nice and steady. One, two, three, four. And make sure your last note is the same length as the other notes within the piece. You don't want to accidentally hold on too long. Um, so page 12 is a worksheet, so we're going to miss that out. And we're going to page 13. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. One, 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 two, three, four. And if it didn't sound the same at the end, what you played. Um, just be careful because the last two bars are only the letter C. Some students accidentally keep going C, D, C, D, like it does at the beginning of that line, but that's not correct. It's just C's at the end. Page 14. 1, 2, 3, 4. 2, 3, 4. 2, 3, 4. Straight to the next line. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and lift off. Page 15 is a worksheet, so we'll miss that. Page 16. This is in two. So you get two bars in. One, two, one, two. Page 17. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. Two, 
three, two, three. Page 18, 1, 2, 3, 4. Even if you know pieces like that really well, try and still keep them steady all the way through. You don't don't feel the need just to rush off because you know it really well. Okay, paratrooper, page nineteen. One, two, three. One, two, three. Two, three. Two, three. One, two, three. Page twenty. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. Page twenty one. One, two, three, four. 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 Page 22 is a worksheet, so we'll miss it out. Page 23. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Together. Page twenty four. One, two, three, one, two, three. If you find the pieces are starting to get a bit difficult, don't forget you can use the YouTube setting to slow the video down so you can practice it at a more comfortable speed. Page 25. One, two, three, four. together. Three, four. Three, four, and one, two, three, four, one, two, holding, three, four, left hand. Two, three, four, and off. If you know that really well, again, try not to be influenced to play extra fast because you want to keep it one speed. Okay. 
So page 26 is an information page, so we're going to miss that out. Page 27. One, two, three. One, two, three. always try playing some different volumes for fun if you have a stage piano or a electric piano if you've got a keyboard sometimes you find that might not work because everything is the same volume okay number 28 one two three four Page twenty nine. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And don't get lazy. It's only middle C's for the last bar, but it asks you left hand middle C and then right hand middle C. So make sure you switch. The reason they do that is because when your hands are further apart eventually and they can't reach the same note, it's good practice. Page 30. One, two, three, four. Page 31. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, hold it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Again, holding it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Good. Don't be influenced to count to eight by accident, even though it will be four plus four. Make sure you go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And the reason you do that is because in music, every time there's a bar line, after the bar line, it will reset our number to number one. Okay. Page 32. One, two, three, four. Two, three. Page 33. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four.
page 34. One, two, three, one, two, three. Two, three, two, three, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. Page thirty five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Together, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Good. Let's just talk about that middle line at the end. At the very end of that middle line, you hold a G with your left hand, and then you push both in your right, number four and five, and they go on top of it. So the G is still playing. So we go left hand, and they join in. Okay? It's like one person having nobody to hold hands with, and then suddenly they hold hands with two people. So they're now three together, okay, because they're joined. Page thirty six. One, two, three, four. Good. And I'm really emphasizing the single beats so it sounds quite choppy. If you want to, you could try playing it smoothly and that's called legato and it'll make it a bit more pretty so it would go so that's a bit like as one note goes down the other one passes it and there will be a point where almost both of them are playing a bit like in a relay race there's one moment where both people are holding the baton just for the safety okay page 37 one two three four two three four one two three four And page 38 is the final music piece of the book, final piano piece of the book, because page 39 is a worksheet. So congratulations, you've reached the end. One, two, three, one, two, three. Fantastic. So I put in a few little extra things there. Um, if you want to play it exactly as the music, it's all one beat and it's quite individual. So it will go. But you'll notice just to make it sound a tiny bit more pretty at the end, if you read the last line, it says to go. For me, it sounds a little bit harsh. So with my students, we changed that last note to a three beat note. So I went. And 
and then we come off. You can also, and this works for most pieces, at the end you could do a little bit of slowing down, so gradually get slower, and it's called a rit in music, a ritardando, uh, or a rallentando, there's some options, and with that getting slower at the end, it also adds to it sounding finished and makes it a little bit prettier to listen to. So here's that at the end, so we're going... <laughs> just makes it sound a bit more final. So well done, you've got to the end of the book and I'll see you for book two.